What's up, you guys? So if you watched tonight's episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac, then you know that each of the ladies did confessional scenes and shared exactly what they witnessed that led up to the altercation between Deborah and Kiana. And when Wendy did her scene, she revealed a shocking piece of information concerning Ashley's knowledge of Deborah being amped up and possibly ready to fight. Her words were that she saw Deborah talk to Ashley and Deborah's words had some oomph to them. And she gestured to show that Deborah was amped up. Now, the reason this information is a problem for Ashley is not only because Ashley is being accused of knowing that Deborah was ready to fight, but also because you hear Ashley verifying that the cameras were down as if she were possibly helping Deborah confront Candace off camera. <clears throat> If you put two and two together, it does sound like Ashley was making sure that Deborah could confront Candace without it being filmed. So Ashley went live this evening and explained that definitely was not the case. And she explained why she was verifying that the cameras were down. So I want you to take a look at this and let me know if you believe it. Hi, beauties. Hello, Freen. Due until like end of next week. But usually it comes with the full moon and that's where we're at. Okay, so pardon me. Um, there are a few things that I want to address about the episode tonight. First of all, I got to say thank y'all. Okay, I cannot believe we've been doing this for eight years. Okay, you all have watched me when I first started the show. I was a newlywed. I'd been married for a year. I wanted to have a family so badly. You watch me open a restaurant, close a restaurant, have some issues conceiving, to ultimately have two amazing boys and then make one of the hardest decisions of my life, which was to end my marriage, okay? So thank y'all, number one. Number two, um, a lot of people ask why I asked if the cameras were still rolling while we were filming, okay? And I want to say that the reason I asked that, sorry, I just got a WhatsApp from somebody. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Okay, the reason I asked that is because when we're filming, we can only play cleared music. And our event, which first of all, major shout out to um, Zebby's Garden and Mayflower, which is a club in DC. They really hooked us up. They did everything they could for us. No one could have anticipated the events that transpired that night. The club is not at fault. Like, they were amazing. So the reason that I asked for the cameras to rolling is because when the cameras are up, we can only play cleared music. And I want to give props to Bravo and Truly Original Art Production Company because the music has gotten a lot better, okay? It used to be karaoke beats. Now we got some bops, okay? But still... People were like, hey, like, are we going to get some different music? Because our event went a little longer than anticipated. So we were like, okay, y'all. So I'm asking, can I tell the DJ to start playing some Drop It Like It's Hot music? That's what I wanted. Everybody wanted to clap some cheeks, you know, which, oh gosh, let me take that back. That's not what I meant to say. But you know, everybody wanted to dance, okay? So that's why I asked that. That's clear music is music that has been approved by uh, Bravo and Truly Original. Um... So that's it. Uh, that's the only reason I asked that. That's actually not a spoiler. It's not brought up at the reunion, so I can address that now. Um, but that is the reason that I asked, are the cameras still rolling? Because we wanted to play some different music. I had no other intentions aside from that. Um, you know, as I have said and repeatedly say, I don't condone fighting. I just don't do it. Like, we talk, we yell, we say things with our words. You know, my castmates and I have all gone toe to toe at some point in time. I've never, ever thought to use my hands. I'm just not that way. So for the actions that happened that night, they are not in alignment with who I am. They are not in alignment with what I believe. And I could never have anticipated that that would happen. Um, I know a lot of people think otherwise, but yeah, I just don't get down like that. I don't roll with it. It's unfortunate that it happened that way, but you know, I can only deal with the aftermath and, uh, you know, that's, that's it. I'm an adult. You've never seen me put a hand on anybody. Okay. I'll never spank my children and I'll never put hands on anybody who doesn't touch me first. And that's just that. So, 
Um, what else? Mia looked stunning. Looks stunning tonight on Watch Happens Live. I saw her little uh, video. She looks stunning. I will have to say that, um, you know, I love that girl. She shared a lot, and I commend her so much for revisiting um, and letting people in to that very challenging part of her life that was shown tonight on the finale. That was not easy, and she's a trooper, so kudos to her. Um, okay, let's see. Uh... Babes, I don't like fighting. Let's not say those things. No one is to blame except the person who initiated it, who is Deborah. Okay, Deborah should not have thrown the drink. Words should not have been used, but Deborah should not have thrown a drink, right? So that was wrong. Um uh what else? Let's see. Dude, I think my friend sort of set me up so she could have a moment. Another thing, no, I don't. I don't think that, you know, the way that uh, that transpired, I don't think that that was her. I don't think. I don't know for sure because we actually have not spoken. But, you know, I don't think that was her intention. So, you know, I can't. obviously I can't share too much, but I don't think that that was her intention. Uh, Okay, babes. I love you guys. I love you from Australia. Um, GNA, uh, we're working on it. So Giselle and I are still working steadfast. I got a few shady comments, which, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was GNA. So we're still working on it. There are so many things that go into building this athleisure brand. Giselle and I are so conscious of making sure that it's good material. We give it the wash test, the wear test. Like I'm telling you, we're going through it and we're putting up so much of our time and resources into this. We have a great team helping us, but still, it's important. So it'll be ready when it's ready. And yes, it will be coming soon. Okay? Okay? All right, y'all. I know I look crazy. I'm about to go eat some. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. I want to say so much, but you know, we do be getting in trouble on these lives. Like, and I, if I could, I would spill all the beans. But I guess after the reunion airs, then I'll come back on and I'll just say everything I want to say. Because <laughs> I don't know what's all going to be on the reunion yet. But yeah, whatever is not there, I've decided. I'm going to come back here, okay? Because it's only right. All right, I love y'all. Have a great night. Don't have the Sunday scaries. Uh, you know, listen to some megahertz. Uh, what is it? 420 hertz music to meditate and listen to tonight before you start your day. Tonight is the full moon uh, and it's the lunar eclipse. So I think it peaks for us here on the East Coast. I think it's at 3.50 a.m. So if you can or want to or maybe set up your phone, check out the lunar eclipse tonight. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you next Sunday for the first part. All right, you guys. So leave a comment and let me know if you're buying Ashley's explanation or not. Do you think Ashley was verifying cameras were down so that Deborah could confront Candace off camera? Or do you believe Ashley was trying to make sure that they could change up the music like she claims? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching.